Welcome to the special show on the media and entertainment world. I'm Samina Irani and you're tuned in to Movies, Money and More, where in the next 30 minutes we'll tell you all the actual facts and figures from this glitzy yet billion dollar industry. But what's on the show first? Millions spent on the marketing strategies, but is that worth it? Bollywood gets its first hit of 2012, Agni Pat. Versatile actor Akshay Khanna is in the news this week. And the spotlight remains on line producers. Over the years, movie makers have tried hard to crack that successful formula to make a super hit movie. But we are aware that there are several factors which are involved in making a movie a grand success. Marketing and promotional activities are definitely one of them, where at times 50% or even more than that is spent on publicity alone. Jasya tells you about those stunts and gimmicks movie makers these days resort to and how it's working at the box office. Actor Vidya Balan fresh from the success of Dirty Picture and all the awards it got her. Creating a stir at a local Mumbai train station. A pregnant looking Balan holding up a poster of a missing husband and posters of the said man all over most big cities are just the latest attempts at marketing a film all set to hit your neighborhood theatre shortly. Vidya Bhakchi. Vidya Bhakchi. Nee, nee, Vidya. The marketing man behind the movie, Viacom 18's Vikram Malhotra claims that one train trip that Balan took in Mumbai attracted 20,000 train travellers and he's hoping all this bus translates into more ticket sales when the movie does release on March 9th. Viacom 18, the marketing strategy that we follow for every film is creating occasions, creating compulsions for the film to connect with its audiences in a manner where the film goes to the comfort zone of the audience. So it's not about conventional marketing, buying crores of TV spots and print ads and hoardings. But it's about getting under the skin of what the film promises to the audience and delivering it in an impactful and connecting manner. Malhotra and Viacom are just some of the new breed of film marketers who have given a new twist to the old art of attracting moviegoers. Over the last few years, there have been some eye-popping attempts like Ram Gopal Varma's Team for Agyad back in 2009 and in recent times, we have movies like Rawan, a 150 crore film which spent a whopping 50 crore on just marketing. In a sense, all this attention to marketing means that film producers are not just thinking out of the box but also spending large sums of money promoting films. Internationally, the ratio of marketing versus production had already arrived at one is to one. So if you actually made a movie in $20 million, you had to spend another $20 million to actually get it out you know, to the consumer. I think India has now evolved in the last couple of years. Uh, India is a massive country, and also with the choices of media where you need to target your audience, I think there is no other way, but uh, uh, to be honest, uh, that you're nearly spending on a big blockbuster, you're spending 15 crores to 10 crores, that larger number on marketing. Uh, and which I think is imperative and, and, and really important. It's not, it's not by the way anymore. So the PNA cost that normally used to be a cost that you added on later on to your production cost, I think it's pretty much part, part of your startup cost. So when you talk about how much the film is going to cost, I think PNA has to be part of it now. You just can't keep it for later. If marketing has changed, so has the platform it is done on. Take for example the world of FBs and tweets that is brimming over with plugs and promos for movies. It plays a major role for three main reasons. One, it's a personal connect medium. Unlike television or newspapers or billboards or radio which are largely community consumption or group consumption or peer group consumption, social media is a very personal medium. The screen is the individuals. So the connect and impact therefore is larger. You're almost talking in an interactive one-to-one -one environment. Secondly, it's extremely low cost as compared to the conventional offline medium. And thirdly, the ability to innovate increasingly is getting that much higher. 
As audiences are changing, so is the marketing funda in Bollywood. In fact, that is why the rules differ from movie to movie and marketers have been quick to figure that you have to use different approaches to attract different kind of audience. Take for example, two films that were poles apart, though they both were set in a rural background, Dabang and Peeply Live. While Dabang was a big ticket mass film, Peeply Live was a niche film targeted at the multiplex audience. Both saw a lot of marketing around them. Dabang was a single screen sensation and even though the multiplexes were houseful for the film, the maximum marketing money was spent promoting the film in such old theatres. In fact, a whopping 40% of the budget, which is 12 crore, was spent on marketing of the film. In PP Life 2, the marketing money was significant, even though the budget of the film was less than one-fourth of that of the bank. Over the last few years, Indian filmmakers and producers have been getting into the groove of marketing films, but they still have a long way to go if you were to compare it with Hollywood. Over there, the budgets are at a different level. Take for example Spider-Man 3, a $258 million film which had a marketing spend of about $50 million and Ravan which is a 150 crore film with a marketing spend of 50 crores. But people like Perseth Shalendra Singh believe that these figures are not comparable. Hollywood films have a larger market, they are catering to nearly 40 countries. So their, their plans are very aggressive and, and they have a larger uh, sort of you know, share in the pie in the, in the world cinema, to, so to say. Uh, the Indian cinema is targeted for India and, and, and when I say India, I mean it, it's, it's more west, uh, sort of west, east and north or west and north as they say, east and south still have their own content that they believe in. Even if filmmakers are largely trying to woo domestic audiences, the fact is that all this massive spending and strategizing is done with a view to maximize footfalls into theatres and hence ensure that films are hit. So does higher marketing spend and normal ways of doing so really make a difference on the box office returns? The Bang made a whopping 140 crore rupees on the box office while Peeply Life had a net box office collection of 30.5 crore rupees. Three Idiots made a net gross of 202 crore rupees. A well-marketed and hyped film which didn't do so well at the box office. It's clear from this that while marketing today is an integral part of filmmaking process, it has to be backed by good content. Films like Dabang and Three Idiots did well because of the fact that they touched a chord. And the most eye-catching marketing ploys didn't do much for the fortunes of films like Daisy Boys and Players. And who would be able to ratify this better than Vidya? After all, Dirty Pictures In Your Face marketing was backed by a storyline that won Balan top honours at the box office and at the award ceremonies. It's still a long way to go in comparison to Hollywood as they spend more on advertising than the actual production. Moving on to last week's release, Agnipath, which has given Bollywood its first big hit of 2012 with an approximate of 23 crore rupees registered on the first day itself. But how does the account book of the movie look like after a week? Check this out. Hindi cinema has undergone a major makeover in the last decade with coming of age cinema targeted at the multiplex audience. But at the same time, there are few filmmakers who revisit the 90s era dominated by the action films to cash in huge money at the box office. So we've had Wanted, Gajni, Dabang, Singam, Bodyguard and the most recent Agnipath targeted at the masses, especially those who enter the single screens. Karan Chaur's Agnipath had all the right ingredients to pull in the crowd, including a superb star cast and a foot-tapping item song. And when the film was released on Republic Day, it surpassed all expectations. Success has no formula. Failure is a lot of reason, but success has no formula. I haven't reached this point yet. How do you make a film a hit? I think mehnat, lagan, sincerity, passion ke saath film banti hai and then you leave the rest to an audience. Sometimes you're right, sometimes you're wrong. This time, thank God we got it. Trade experts are gung-ho about the first hit of 2012. The film which was made on a budget of around 75 crore rupees has collected 85 crore rupees at the box office in the first week itself. 
what a start. I think it has broken all previous records, be it Bodyguard, Ready or any big film which has come in the recent past. Uh, especially the first day collections of Agnipath was a touting between 23 and 25 crores which is outstanding. Uh, Bodyguard lastly had the biggest opening of 21 and a half. So it has broken actually by 2 to 3 crores. <laughs> Agnipath collected approximately 23 crore rupees on the first day, setting a new record in Bollywood. While collections on Friday, Saturday and Sunday added up to 36 crore rupees. This reinstates the fact that action as a genre still works. Mumbai ke underworld ka baksa banna chata hai. Uh, I think one of the big ones that kind of really changed action as a genre was Gajani and I still remember a couple of years back when it released. Uh, it was a completely different audiences and much larger audiences which came and kind of saw the film. Uh, today's action film is far more sophisticated, it's, it's far more uh, realistic as well. Uh, it's not of, you know, it's almost like a true world uh, thing that you're really seeing. So I think that is the big difference between what the action film that you saw and what you're seeing right now. But action isn't the only factor which worked for Agnipath. A story told in a contemporary way and amazing performances by Hrithik Roshan and Sanjay Dutt. And how can we forget Rishi Kapoor? All this hooked the audience till the end. Hrithik Roshan starer Agnipath, which is a remake of the 1990 release, did give Amitabh Bachchan the national award. But it actually did not do well at the box office. The old version was made on a budget of 4.5 crore rupees and it managed to collect only 2.5 crore rupees. Cut to 2012 and all the A-list stars are back in their action shoes to perform some daredevil stunts, rescue the damsel in distress and to be crowned as the action king. But for now, Agnipath has set the ball rolling for Bollywood. We will have to wait and see if Agnipath makes it to the 100 crore club or not. But now it's time for a short break. But when we come back, we tell you why Akshay Khanna is in the news of late.